The following program is brought to you in part by Time Warner Cable and the Madison County School System. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear. And Rosenbaum Communications. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television. I'm Joey Chapman, and you are watching the Madison Southern Lady Eagles take on Somerset. We got a good game on our hands today, and something you're going to want to keep an eye on tonight is Brianna Lanham. Brianna Lanham has been playing for the Eagles since she was in seventh grade, and tonight she is five away from her 500th rebound. So history will be made by her tonight. I believe she will become the youngest Lady Eagle to get that. And here's the opening tip. It's going to go to Kelly Freeman out to Samantha Parms, and she's going to bring it up the court. It's over to Kristen Hayes. And that ball is tipped in the air, and Somerset's got it. Number 25 up court. And she's going to miss the easy put in. It's going to be Brandon Lanham with the ball. She takes it, she takes it up court over to Kelly Freeman. Shots up, that's a three. It's off the backboard and it is good. Eagles get on the board first. And they're playing a double team trap right here. It's two on one, of course. She's gonna take the easy shot and she misses it. Call on the play right there. Foul right there is going to go against Christian Hayes. Shots up, and it's going to roll off. So Hayes is going to bring it up court, and she gets tripped up. But that's going to be Kelly Freeman right there for it. Brianna Lanham gets it. Samantha Pars around the perimeter. Shots up by Freeman. Three. She's got it. Six-nothing lead for the Eagles right here. Great start for the ladies. Out to number 10. She takes it up. Easy shot right here by number 13, and it bounces out. Not much going for Somerset. Hayes is going to take it up the court. She's going to pass it around the perimeter to Freeman. Now to Lanham back. Another three. She's going to miss it that time. It's going to be rebounded by Somerset. They're going to bring it up the court. 
around the perimeter. She's going to take it on the right side. Tries to pass it inside. She does. And number 13 is going to fight for the bucket, and she can't get it. Took two tries right there, so nothing going down for them still. Around the perimeter to Hayes. Out to Freeman. Lanham. Back around, so very good rotations by the Eagles right now, but that one's going to bounce out. A rebound for Lanham. Shot up by Parms, and it misses off the back. So Somerset's going to take it up the court. And finally a bucket for Somerset, so it's a 6-2 lead for the Eagles now. And Hayes is battling up the court. And misdirection on the pass right there, so it looks like it's going to go back to Somerset. So a really great way for the Eagles to open up the game. Obviously when you open up with six big, uh, pardon me, six big points, two three-pointers, it's always what you want to see. So Somerset has the ball right now, passes it on the perimeter to number 10. She's wide open, but it's still a brick. Inside to 13. She tries to spin, doesn't really get anything going off the backboard once, misses, but it's back in. They have trimmed the Lady Eagles lead to two, so Hayes has got a little pressure right here. Whistle on the play. And it's going to be a timeout for the Eagles, so we're going to take a quick break. Today's game is brought to you in, char in part by State Farm, Madison County EMA.net, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Service, and Linville Insurance. We'll be right back. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at MadisonCountyEMA.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at MadisonHVACR.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to action at Madison Southern. The Lady Eagles are taking on Somerset. If you're just tuning in, it's a 6-4 to four lead for the Eagles. 521 left in the first quarter. They opened up the game with two three-pointers, but Somerset is trying to come back within, so Hayes is going to get it out to Parms. Lanham, she's going to try and get it in. She does it, but she's going to get the rebound, fighting for the ball, and it's going to be a jump ball. Somerset's going to get this one, so they're going to pass it in right here. She's got pressure by Rachel Raby, number 15. Number 25 passes it out to 22. Christian Hayes thought she had it right there. May have jammed her finger. She's holding her hand after that one, but Somerset's going to tie it up at six. And it's going to be intercepted. And the ball is on the ground. I think the Eagles have to go to call jump ball again. And that one's going to go to the Eagles. So looks like it's going to be Rachel Ramey throwing it in. Clark is in for the Eagles, number five. Out to Kelly Freeman. She's going to pass it back, though. That ball got tipped. The shot is up. And it's going to rim out right there off the backboard. Somerset's going to take it up the court. She's going to try and fight in. She's going to keep it for herself. She's going to hit it off the side of the goal. And Freeman's going to get the rebound. Somerset's going to steal. And there is a foul on the play right there. They're going to call a travel. 
So it's going to be Lady Eagles balls right, uh, ball right there. Obviously a lot of pressure right here from Somerset. Lanham is going to pass it to Parm. She's going to put it in, and the Eagles are going to resume the lead. Trap right here. Can she get out of it? She does. She's going to pass it to number 25. And she's going to pass it to 10 right there. Inside to 13. She turns around. Can't get it. And the ball is loose. That's Clark with it, number 5. Ashlyn Clark keeps it. And she loses control of it. There's going to be a foul right there, possibly a reach in by the Eagles. So that's going to be her first foul on the night. And it is going to be a throw in for Somerset. Twenty two dribbling the ball right now. Parms on defense. Maybe two picks right there. Parms is going to try and steal that one as it went up in the air. And it's back to a tie ball game at eight. So Ramey's going to throw it in. And who does she go to right here? She goes to Freeman. And she's kind of trapped right there. Can't pick up her dribble. Clark is going to try and battle Lynch. She's going to get it out to Lanham. And possible foul right there, but it looks like it's going to go down as a block. And 21 stops, and they're going to call a walk. That is the second walk against Somerset. Looks like right now, even though it is a tie ball game, the Eagles are kind of having their way right now, really setting the tempo for themselves, and that's always important to establish early. We got Clark going up the court. She's going to battle in, and there's going to be a foul. She went up for the shot. Hit under, so looks like she's going to be taking two right here. Watching the freshman game, freshman team coached by Donnie Hunley and fantastic free throw shooters. They were hitting them from just about anywhere on the court. First shot is up, and it's going to rim out, though. Callie Cook coming in right now for Samantha Parms. This year, Cook is a junior as well as Freeman, Ramey. And that shot is up and it is good, so it's a 98 lead for the Eagles, 256 left. Somerset taking it up the court. Rachel Ramey's gonna run her down. She almost had the steal. Pick right here by 21, I believe. And she's gonna take it around and she's gonna get the bucket, so Somerset's gonna take the lead. Clark has the ball right now. She's got to try and get it across half court. She's going to get it to Rachel Ramey. Ramey fights through into the paint. And Kristen Hayes scores. And I'll correct myself right there. I believe that might have been Lanham. There was a host of Eagles down there. And a missed pass on Somerset's part right there, 11 to 10. 218 left in the first quarter. And Hayes checks back into the game. So, yes, that was Lanham. And do remember, we're waiting for her 500th rebound tonight. It's a big accomplishment for her. Freeman passes it to Clark, and it's going to be a jump ball. And it's going to go to Somerset. 2-10 left. Really close game right here. The, game, uh, the team seemed uh, pretty evenly matched. So here's the pass out to 10. She's going to drive in, and she still misses. It's going to be Lanham on the rebound. She's going to take it up court right here, switching her direction as quick as she has to. Clark out. She's going to be uh, stole right there, and it still misses. Somerset really not able to get anything going inside the paint. It seems like any time they put a, a shot there, either hits off the backboard and jumps out. And a foul right there against... Uh, Somerset, and it's going to be Lanham taking the shots. She's going to get two. Taking her first shot right here. The shot is up, and it is good. The Eagles get a bucket right there. 12 to 10, 141 left.
Second one is up and it is good. So it is a 13 to 10 lead for the Eagles. Somerset throws in. Quick little trap right there and really fantastic defense by the Eagles as she throws it to basically nowhere but a Somerset player is there to get it. That's number 25 across court to 21. The three is up and it's gonna bounce off the front of the rim. That's Freeman with the ball right there. She's gonna get it out to Hayes. Brings it up to court. She's gonna try and fight in and it's gonna be a foul on Somerset. So that's going to be two for Hayes. That's going to be the third foul for Somerset. The Eagles have two. Kristen Hayes, the junior this year, looking to take her first free throw. And it's going to bounce out, but good effort. On to her second one right here. And it is nothing but net right there. Changing the lineup right here. Parms is back in. Ball going around the perimeter. Number 22 has it. She's guarded by Freeman and there was a foul right there. And that foul's gonna go against number 21 on Somerset. So that's four fouls for them now, digging themselves a little hole early here at Madison Southern. So that's Parms with the ball. Ball going around the perimeter. Freeman just gave it back to Parms, out to Clark, I believe that is. No, that is Callie Cook. That ball right there was intercepted. 10 has it, she's rejected. And Lanham gets tripped up right there. She's going to bang her knee, but she is going to be fine. Marley Lawson is out there for the Eagles right now. So it's going to be Kelly Freeman throwing it in to Samantha Parms. She finds Cook on the perimeter, and she passes it right back. Freeman has some room. She takes the shot. And it's going to bounce right back to her. Somerset has it up the court. And she's going to get it right there. So it's going to be a 14 to 12 game. Only 20 seconds remain in the first. Freeman with it back to Lanham. She puts one up. It's going to bounce back. And they're fighting for a rebound. Lanham gets it back and she's going to get the bucket. So Somerset has it back. Easy three right here. Does she make it? No. And Lanham gets it on her own. And that is going to be the end of the first. The Lady Eagles are leading 16 to 12. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. Scenic Cabin. Dot com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. We're back here on Madison County School Sports Television, and as you just saw, Brianna Lanham. 500 rebounds for the Lady Eagles, and what an accomplishment on her part. She's played a really tough game today. If she misses a shot, she fights right back to go and get the rebound. So she, she just has that great defensive mindset, and she really helps carry the Lady Eagles in anything that they do. She's a really great team player. So we're going to take a quick break again. This game is brought to you in part by State Farm, Madison County EMA.net. Jack Burford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Services, and Linville Insurances. We'll be right back. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. 
You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Hello, everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Back to action at Madison Southern started the second quarter right here. It's going to be Kelly Freeman throwing in to Kristen Hayes. If you're just tuning in, Brianna Lanham got her 500 rebound as an Eagle. Really proud of her. She's only a sophomore. So there's a lot more to come. Somerset's going to try and get that one, and it's going to be out. Samantha Parms tried to get it right there. It's going to be Eagles ball. It was a really quick paced start for the Eagles to start the game. We'll see if they kind of try and get a few more rotations out here. So the ball is going to go out to Lanham inside the Hayes, and she's going to get it. Beautiful play right there by the Eagles. They're going to try and get a trap right here. Somerset gets it across the court inside 24. And somebody got a hand on that. And I believe she got a hand on her face too, but she's all right. So she's going to go up to the free throw line. She's going to take two. I believe this is the first time Somerset has gone to the free throw line tonight. That's three fouls against the Eagles and five against Somerset. So here's her first. And it is good. Checking in for Somerset right here is number 21. She's had a few fouls tonight, so obviously trying to limit her playing time just a bit so she doesn't foul out. Shot is up, and it is good, so it is an 18-14 lead for the Eagles now. 7.20 left in the second quarter. That's Christian Hayes with the ball. Ball goes back around the perimeter. She looks for Parms. She's got her. Out to Freeman. She's going to take a three over the defender, and it's going to bounce off the back. And it's Somerset ball again. Taking her time right here. They've played a really fast-paced game. You don't want to get winded early. And she's got Hayes on defense, and she is a tenacious player. Pick right there by 10. She looks out to the perimeter. Freeman has the steal. Parms with it to Hayes. And she's looking to get inside, and she's going to get fouled. And she's going to take two. Really great transition from defense to offense for the Eagles right there. And you can make all the buckets you want, but you've got to have a good defense. And these girls are really showing that they have something on defense right here. So that is Hayes going back to the line. Shot is up, and it is good. She's going to put the second one up right here, and it's going to rim out. So Somerset's going to take it up the court. She's got Hayes on defense, and oh, and there is a collision out there in the paint, and it's going to be Eagles ball. You got to be willing to take the hits on defense, and I believe that was Christian Hayes that fell down right there, but whoever it was. Great defensive play right there, and I know Summer's got to be really happy with them. So that's going to be Rachel Ramey throwing in. She's going to be looking for Hayes right here, and no pressure right now from Somerset, so she's going to be able to take it up the court nice and easy. Out to Kelly Freeman, and there's going to be a steal on Somerset right there. She's going to keep it in. That's number 25, and she's going to miss the easy lay-in. Hayes gets control of the ball. She's going to pass it out to Lanham. Fights inside, spin move, 
misses right there. It's going to be Somerset Ball on the rebound, taking it up the court. That's number 25. She looks for two, and she's just off, and that's going to be Samantha Parms with the rebound. And that one's going to be swatted by Somerset. She's going to fall down. Waiting on the call from the officials right here. So it's going to be Somerset ball and pretty crazy play right there. And if you look away for a second, you're not really sure what's going on. The ball was all over the place, but Somerset's going to take it right here. She's got Rachel Ramey guarding her out to number 25, guarded by Hayes. Nearly slips right there. She's going to pass it out to the right wing, and it's going to be nothing but air. Christian Hayes is going to battle up the court. Does she look inside? She's going to keep it for herself. Maybe she faked the pass and foul on the play. 5.21 left, 19-14 lead for the Eagles. Hayes is right on back to the free throw line. Really good fake right there by her. and. First shot is up. And it's going to rim out, but like we said, she had a really good fake. She tried to battle inside, and there were just too many Somerset players right there and ended up running into a few of them. And now Scott is coming in. That's number 34. She comes in for Parms. want to get her a rest. Hayes' second shot is up, and that one is no good. And... Out of bounds on the Eagles right there. Ramey, oh, they're going to call it back. It's going to be Eagles ball. Ramey argued the ref that it was going to go to the Eagles, and she got her way right there. So it's going to be Freeman passing in. And Somerset tight defense right there. The guy at the steal balls on the ground. She's calling for a timeout. They're going to call jump ball. And I'm pretty sure right there she was screaming for a timeout. But it's going to be Somerset ball. It's Rachel Ramey guarding number 25 right there. Kelly Scott on the defense and out on the Eagles right there. Tight defense by Freeman. Ball is back in. She tries to go inside. She misses it. That's another air ball, and the Eagles are all over it. That's going to be Rachel Ramey on the rebound. She's going to get it out to Kristen Hayes. Freeman for the three. And it is no good, and they're going to go to the ground. And I believe there's going to be a foul on the play, possibly. It's number 24 for Somerset. She seems to be uh, shaking up just a little bit. Referee's making sure that she's all right. So she's going to tough through it, and she's going to stay in the game right here. So that's what it looked like, but I am mistaken. Number 32 is going to come in, and obviously 24 is in too much pain right there. She just doesn't seem to be feeling good on the uh, sidelines. We hope she's okay. Here's the throw in, cross half court. There's gonna be a foul on the Eagles right there and she gets the bucket. Really good play by Somerset right there. She went up, she drew the contact, got the point. She's gonna get another free throw, so. It's number 11 shooting him, I believe. Shot is up and it is no good. That's gonna be Scott on the rebound. Out to Hayes. And Ramey's got it. Out back to Hayes. Looks like she's going to try and take it three, but she thinks better of it. And they're going to call a walk against the Eagles. Looking back on the sidelines, number 24 seems to be in a lot of pain with her knee. So that's why she is out. 
right now. We don't know when she'll get back in, but it looks like she is leaving as there a three-point attempt right there by the Eagles. Rebounded by Scott. And Rachel Ramey has the ball right now out to Kelly Freeman. And they're going to call another walk against the Eagles. Two straight possessions, and they both result with walks. And it's going to go back to Somerset. Here's the throw in, and she missed her player. So it's going to be the Eagles' ball out to Hayes. She's going to pass it to Lanham, and Lanham gets it. 21-16 lead for the Eagles, 3.50 left in the second. And number 25 is going to fall down when she threw it off of Lanham right there, so Somerset's going to keep it. Lawson in for the Eagles right here. Throw in by Somerset out to number 22, Rachel Ramey guarding her. Taking it real nice and slow. Want to try and set the tempo, trying to get back in the game. Taking it around the perimeter right now. She looks for somebody that's open. Number 13 battles in, and she's going to get it. 21-18, Eagles lead. Hayes is battling inside. She goes for the basket. And it's just going to miss. And she's going to get two free throws right here. Would have liked to have gotten the two and one. Take what you can get, though. Preparing for her first free throw right here. The shot is up. And it is no good. She's missed several tonight. Not very characteristic of her. Looking for the second shot right here. It is up, and it is good. So she gets one out of two right there. Not bad. She's got to try and get them all, though. So Somerset Ball, 22, has it. Taking it back up the court. Rachel Ramey guarding her. Lawson on defense. They're going to switch. She tries to battle inside, and there's going to be a foul. Really tenacious play on offense right there, and... She thought she was either going to get two and one, or she was just going to draw the foul. Really tough player right there, so the first shot is up, and it rims out. 3-10 left in the second period. Second shot is up. And just barely goes in. So it's going to be the Eagles taking it up the court. That's Christian Hayes out to Kelly Freeman. Back to Hayes right here on the perimeter. Gets her uh, defender to back off. She's going to get it back out to Freeman. Parms is open. Hand off to her. Back out to Hayes. Trying to keep the ball around the perimeter right here. Probably trying to eat up some clock. They got a lead right here, 22 to 19. Almost lost the ball. And there's going to be a reach in against Somerset. And that foul is against number 21. And Hayes is going to get two right here. And a lot of fouls in the game. 17 so far, 10 for Somerset, 7 for the Eagles. Shot is up, and she gets her first one. Coming in for Lawson. It's Lanham back in. And she's going to get both of them right here. And Somerset's going to look for something quick. She outruns Hayes. And she's going to put it off the glass and gets it in. And Hayes is looking like she wanted to try and do it on her own, but she gets it out to Freeman. Parms for three. Just off the front, and Parms is going to try and get it back. Somerset wraps it up. And she's going to lose control of it right there. Somerset ball. 
Great hustle right there by both teams. So here comes the throw in. That's number 21 out to 25. Nobody really on her, and she's going to get it. 24 23. That's Hayes with the ball. She's on the perimeter. And it's off somebody's foot right there. Eagles ball again. Trying to get things sorted out right here, so that's going to be Freeman throwing in. Looking for Lanham, and she has it. Going back to Hayes, out to Kelly once again. She's going to battle inside. She looks for the bucket, and she doesn't get it. Second chance, no good. Can she get the third chance? No. Hayes back on it. And there's a foul, and she gets it. Oh, and they're going to call jump ball. Southern thought they had it. So no bucket right there. Somerset ball, a minute 30 left. And they're going to call a walk against Somerset, and it's Eagles ball once again. To throw in to Hayes. She's going to go right into the mouth of the defense. Fights through and she gets rejected, but it's going to be a foul. She's going to get two shots. It's going to be an 11th foul for Somerset. And Hayes has really gone to the free throw line a lot uh, tonight, but she's missed a few. But on her last attempt, she went two for two, one for, one for two the time before that. So we'll see what she can do right here. First shot is up. She gets the first. Coming up after the half, we have our own Samantha Burford going down. She's going to talk to the Lady Eagles coach, get her opinion on the game. Stay tuned for that. Minute 19 left in the second. Two for two right there for Hayes. So she's really making up for the ones that she missed. Somerset's trying to go real quick right here. Great trap by the Eagles. She doesn't know where to go. Does she call a timeout? And they're forced to call a timeout right there. So we're going to take a quick break. Minute 12 left. Today's game is brought to you in part by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Madison County, EMA.net, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Service and Linful Insurance. We'll be right back, folks. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to action at Madison Southern Lady Eagles taking on Somerset. 26-23 lead for the Eagles. A minute 10 left in the second. Somerset taking it up the court. She's got two people on her. Kelly Freeman as well as Clark. Inside. Pass is almost missed right there. Back out to 21, across, uh, around the perimeter that is. Back out to 22, Rachel Ramey playing really tight defense right there, not gonna give her an inch. It's gonna take a while right here. She finds a man open. And it's gonna rim out, out to Lanham. She got her 500th rebound earlier. She's gonna battle up the court. She's gonna take it all on her own and she's gonna draw the foul. Somerset player down. Really hard collision out there, but it looks like both of them are going to get back up. And that's another foul against number 20. 21, that is. And there's going to be a timeout, so we're going to take another commercial break. We'll be right back on Madison County School Sports Television. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. 
That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Back to action at Madison Southern. It's a 26-23 game, 36 seconds left in the second. Really great play by the Eagles today. Not usual for a Saturday afternoon game, but weather permitting. Brandon Lanham is going to be out to the free throw line right here. She's going to take her first one right here. The ball is up, and it is good. Free throws are free points, so you got to get all you can. You want to capitalize, and those are the easiest buckets in the game besides that uh, size when you get on your own and you go for the layup, but these can make or break a team. So Somerset kind of a little bit of confusion of who was going to throw in right there. That was 23, so they're looking out right here. 25 is going to get it out to 10. She misses the pass, so it's going to be Lady Eagles ball. 30 seconds left. Clark comes out of the game. Hayes checks back in. It's been a really even match. The difference in this one has been fouls. Lots of three free throws tonight, that is. Freeman with the shot. She misses the three-pointer. Hayes on defense right there against number 10. She's got a spin. She looks, and she misses it under. Out to 43. That's Lanham. And she gets rejected. Somerset ball. Two seconds left. Does she put a shot up? And she's going to let it go. So at the half, 28 to 23. It is the Eagles leading, and we take, we take it down to the court. Samantha Burford. All right, Coach, big defensive plays tonight, including big full-court plays. What do you think? Um, we decided to go um, with our, our trapping press, and it's worked out for us. Sometimes it burns us, sometimes it doesn't. We're just trying to play into their legs a little bit. So. Yeah, and it's working. Good. Good. Do you think that you guys are controlling the tempo of the game at all? Yes, I think we are. I think we're fouling a little too much to keep it as hot as we want to. But uh, we're going to stick with what's working. I'm not going to change anything up as long as we've got legs and we're not in foul trouble. I'm going to stick with it. Good. Thanks, Coach. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Hello everybody, I'm David Sullivan for Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, 
the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Back to action at Madison Southern. You're, if you're just tuning in, getting ready for the second half of play. The Lady Eagles are up over Somerset 28-23. to A few notes from tonight's game. Brianna Lanham, the sophomore, with her 500th rebound. She gets the game ball. And the ball is in to Kristen Hayes right here. Out around the perimeter. That was to Kelly Freeman. Gives it right back to Hayes. And foul called on the play. So the call was against the Eagles. It's going to go to Somerset. Looking for the throw in right here. And they're going with that big trap just like uh, Coach Summer was talking about. Rebound for the Eagles right there. Ball goes out to Hayes. She brings it up the court. Out around the perimeter to Freeman. Looking for Parms right here. She's open. She's going to take a three, and it just misses. Somerset with the rebound, but Southern was looking for the steal big time right there. Shot is up. The three misses off the glass, but they're going to get the two right there. 28-25, Eagles lead, seven minutes left. Ball is out to Remy right there. She has Freeman open. She finds Lanham, and there's a walk. Definitely not how the Lady Eagles want to open it up on offense. They open up with their first possession with a foul, and now a walk. Throw in right here for Somerset, guarded by Ramey. Samantha Parms on the ball. They're looking to trap her. Bow out to number 25 right there. Not sure who, uh, who she was looking for right there, but she found somebody, and it just misses. A lot of missed layups for Somerset tonight. Hayes fights through the nice move, and she's going to get two out of it. Throw in for Somerset right there. She's going to take it up the court. Number 22 has it, passes back, and it's in. The deficit is three points for Somerset. And they are going all out on defense right here. Here is Ramey. She looks to take it in. She hits it off the front. Number 13 brings it up the court. And wow, she misses the easy two right there. Samantha Parms bringing it up the court. Does she keep it for herself? No, she gets it out to Lanham. And she just can't get it, but she's going to get to take two right here. So one foul for each team tonight. The Eagles have been to the free throw line a lot. 
And the first shot is up, and it is good for Lanham. Callie Cook comes into the game for Rachel Ramey. Obviously want to give her a break right here. And with the way the game is being played right now, it looks like it's going to be a really tight contest. It might come down to the final seconds of the game. Second shot went up right there, and it was good for Lanham. So she's two for two. And she's going to get a steal right there. And the ball is all over the court. And it's going to be out on Somerset, so it's going to be the Eagles' ball. Eagles lost it. Somerset lost it. And the refs jumped out of the way just in time right there. Really didn't affect the play. Sam, Sam Parnas is going to get the ball right here. And passing it back and forth with Callie Cook. And it's going to be a walk. That's going to be two walk for the Eagles so far in the third quarter. And in a close game like this, you really can't afford that. You can end up shooting yourself in the foot that way. Here's the throw in right here for Somerset. She's looking. Does she find someone? Yes. Open up on the wing. Tries to battle inside, and a whistle is blown. That one's going to be against Somerset, so it's going to be the Lady Eagles throwing it in. Checking in right now is number five, Clark. She's coming in for Cook. And she's going to be throwing the ball in. Looking for somebody to throw in right here. She's got it out to Freeman. She's going to try and break through the defense right there, and it's going to be a foul. She got tripped up right there. Foul on number 25 right there, so Clark's going to get to throw it in. 32-27 game. The clock is still ticking. Five minutes and 15 seconds left. And that one's going up court. They're all over the place right there. Somerset's going to – they threw it right there, and they just missed it right over her hand. Could have been a big play right there. The Eagles saved themselves right there. Clark's going to get to throw it in right here over number 25. She looks for Lanham, and it's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball right there is going to go to Somerset. Coming into the game right now is number 15, Rachel Ramey. I believe she's coming in for Clark right there. Somerset looking inside for the shot. No good. She's going to get that second effort, and she gets an air ball. Lanham with the rebound. She's going to get it out to Hayes right there. Kristen Hayes, the junior. Going to try and battle inside. She gets it out to Rachel Ramey. They're going to try to take the ball away from her, but she's going to get two right there. Somerset has the ball. Battling up the court. She's got Samantha Parms on her. Rachel Ramey coming from behind. And she's going to try and get the easy two right there, and it just rims out. No friendly rim for Somerset tonight. Parms battling up the court. She finds Freeman around the perimeter. She's going to pass it out to Hayes. Hayes. What a play right there. Even though she missed it, she had 25 on the ground. The shot by 10 right there. It's in. 34-29 lead. Still the Eagles. 4-15 left. The pass right here out to Parms. Out to Freeman. She looks for three. Just misses. Hayes is going to get the rebound. Freeman back. Parms for three. Just misses. Lanham's going to try and battle inside. She just throws it up, and they're going to call a walk. Doesn't seem too happy about the call out there, but what the refs call is what the refs call. Somerset's going to throw it in. That's going to be number 11. Kristen Hayes is going to come onto the bench. Number 33, Lawson, is out there. Up court for Somerset. Lawson on it. That was a three. It just misses. Lanham with the rebound. She finds Lawson. Lawson gets trapped right there. And it's going to be a double dribble. Coach Summers of the Eagle is infuriated over on the sideline. Just getting a little worked up over her players right here. 
Somerset with the ball, number 10, up court. Jazz Lanham in the paint, and it just misses. And there's going to be a foul on the play right there, and it looks like it's going to be against Somerset, I do believe. Indeed it is, and it's going to be the Eagles' ball. Rachel Ramey's going to throw it in right here. Somerset's going to get the steal right there. And she's going to get the easy bucket. Samantha Parms coming up the court. She's got a person coming up behind her, and it's going to be stripped. It's going to stay with the Eagles, though. 3.22 left, 34-31 game. So Lawson is coming out of the game, and Kristen Hayes is coming back in. Obviously, Eagles at risk of the game getting tied or possibly losing the lead right here. So coach wants her best players out on the court, out to Hayes. She's looking inside. She battles through and tries to hit it off the glass, and it will be no good. And it looks like she's going to get to take two right here. And we've mentioned this before. Hayes has went to the line a lot earlier in the game. She was missing a few free throws here and there, but now she's really getting into her stride. That's going to be four fouls for Somerset, one against the Eagles right here. So here comes her first shot. That one it is up, and it is going to rim out. Looking for a second one right here. The shot is up, and it is good. Hayes goes one for two right there. The throw in by number 11 right here, the 10. Somerset taking it up the court. She's got four people on her almost. She loses control of it. It's going to be the Eagles' ball. Kelly Freeman's going to throw it in right here. She's going to be guarded by number 25, number 10 for Somerset on to the bench. Out to Kristen Hayes right here. She's going to find Freeman again. Does he try to take the shot? She does. It's for three. And she just misses. Somerset looking right here on the perimeter. Guarded by Freeman right here. She's going to try and get the steal. It's going to be jump ball. And it's going to be jump ball for the Eagles. Really smart play by the defense right there. So it's going to be Rachel Ramey throwing it in right here. Looking all over, and she's going to find Brianna Lanham. The pass right here out to Kelly Freeman. She finds Hayes. Hayes looks for that nice mid-range shot, and it is in. It's a 37-31 lead for the Eagles, 235 left in the third. A lot of pressure for Somerset right here. She's going to get tripped up. That's number 22, and it's going to be a foul. Foul on Samantha Parms right there, but it's going to be a throw-in. That's only the second foul for the Eagles in this half. Four against Somerset. Here's the throw-in. Out to number 22. She's got her by Rachel Ramey out there. Really tight defense by the Eagles right here. Switch over, and Freeman's going to get her hand on it, I believe. And it's going to go out to Parm, so it's the Eagles' ball right here. She's going to try and slow it down right here. Eagles trying to set the tempo for themselves. Freeman thinks better about the shot. Parm's looking. Hayes for three. That one's from the S, and she just misses. And it's going to be out on the Eagles right there. Freeman hit it out. Number 21 of Somerset's going to try and throw it in over Rachel Ramey. Eleven has it. It's three on one. That's Lanham out there in the paint, and she's going to miss it. A lot of missed shots in the paint for Somerset tonight. Out to Parm. She looks for three. Got it. Beautiful play by the Eagles right there, and Parms gets her first three of the night. Shot by Somerset right there. Rims out. No friendly rim. And they're all over the court right there, and Hayes went down hard. She gets right back up. And it's going to be a summer, uh, it's going to be a Somerset throw in. Lawson and Clark are coming in. Rachel Ramey, and it looks like Hayes are going to go on to the bench. 
There's a minute 25 left in the quarter. 40 to 31 lead for the Eagles. Obviously want to get her players ready for the uh, fourth quarter that is for Coach Summers. The tray, she looks, she's got it. Lots of traps going on right here. The ball is on the court, it's rolling. That's Lawson with it and it's gonna be a jump ball maybe. And it's gonna be a timeout on the floor so we're gonna take a timeout right here. Today's game is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Madison County EMA.net, Jack, Jack Bufford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Service, and Limfo Insurance. We'll be right back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to action here at Madison Southern, a minute three left in the third quarter right here. It's a 40-34 lead for the Eagles. Lawson passes it in to Clark. She's out to Freeman, and there's a Somerset player down on the court. It's going to be an official timeout, and the trainer comes out for number 25 right there, but she looks to get back up. Not sure what she heard right there. She may have got hit or something, but she's back up. She's going to the bench, so glad to see that she's okay. And we're back to action. Clark gets the ball. She's back out to Freeman. Putting it around the perimeter right here. It's Parms. And Freeman's going to look. She's going to try and get in. And she's going to have to find somebody to pass it to. Clark has it. Dumps it right back to Freeman. Lawson. Tried to back her down. Clark for three. Bounces off the back. Parms gets it. Scott gives it right back to her. Freeman's gonna try and look inside, looks for the mid-range shot, passes back to Parbs for three, and it's in! That one was from back from about the S. Really fantastic shot by her, and Somerset throws in, it's number 10 taking it up the court. She's in the paint, and it just rims out. She's gonna try and get that second effort shot. She goes back to number 11. Out on the perimeter to number 24, and it just misses. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter. It is a 43-34 lead for the Eagles. When we come back, we're going to give you coverage of the fourth quarter right there. And when we come back, it's going to be a tight one. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at MadisonHVACR.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Back to action here at Madison Southern where the Lady Eagles hold a nine-point lead over Somerset. It's going to be Somerset ball when they throw in. The ball is out to number 22. This is the start of the fourth quarter. They're gonna try and get around the perimeter right there, back inside, and they're gonna call a walk. So, Eagles are gonna throw it in right here. That was Lawson on the throw in. And they didn't have much pressure right there. Looks like Somerset's backed up their defense. And with just a few plays, they could be right back in it. That's Freeman with the ball. She gets it out to Clark on the perimeter of the Parms. Back out to Freeman. The pass almost went over her head. 
She gets lucky. She gets it right back, but she's going to give it off to Parms. Back to Freeman again. And that's lost in inside. She's going to give it to Clark. She fakes the shot. She's going to battle inside, and she gets the easy two. 7-10 left. And it's going to be jump ball. And a possession arrow is going to go in favor of the Lady Eagles. Got to be happy about that one right there. Well, timeout on the floor. Not sure who called the timeout right there. So we'll be right back after this commercial break. Today's game is brought to you in part by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Madison County EMA.net, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Service, and Linville Insurance. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to action in Madison Southern. It's the 45-34 lead for the Lady Eagles. Seven minutes, nine seconds left in the game. It's going to be Lady Eagles ball. To throw in by Freeman. She's looking for Lawson, but she's going to go back to Parms. Freeman comes around the perimeter right here. She's got some choices. Hayes is in the game. And Freeman battles in, and there's going to be a foul on the play against the Eagles right there, and it's going to be Somerset ball. Both teams have four fouls at this point, in the half that is. The first half opened up with a lot of fouls, but it's been a much different tale in the second as that three-pointer rims out. And she's going to miss one inside, and she falls to the ground, and it's going to be a walk. That was number 21 right there. So it's going to be Lawson who throws it in. She's number 33. She looks for Samantha Parms. Back out to Lawson and back to Parms. Sizing up the defender right here. Hayes is going to try and set a screen, but it's going to be no good. And there's going to be a five-second call. Somerset ball. Somerset taking it up court. That's number 25. She looks for the bucket. It's going to be an air ball. Kristen Hayes with it. Tightly defending, and it's going to be out on Somerset, I believe. Kelly Freeman's going to be on to throw in. Number 25 guarding. Out to Hayes. And there's going to be a foul against Somerset right there. It's the fifth foul for Somerset. Looking for it to throw in right here. It's going to be a little more tightly contested. The Eagles definitely want to try and get a score right here. If they do, they can try and walk away with the win. Six minutes, 16 seconds left. Out to Parms. Trying to find a way around her defender. She's going to try and fall down. And there's going to be a walk right now. I'll correct myself right there. She wasn't trying to fall down, but she did. But she did a good job of giving the ball off. But... Kelly Scott walks right there, and it's going to be Somerset ball. Somerset taking it up the court. And inside, she's going to run into some defenders, but she's going to get it. 45-36 lead for the Eagles. Nine-point game. Hayes has it. Crowd getting a little louder. She has the ball around the perimeter. It's out to Freeman. She looks for Parms. Parms open for three. Straight on, and it's going to miss. Lanham gets it. Out to Hayes. Tightly contested by number 10 and number 25. She slips and falls, and there's going to be a timeout on the Eagles. Well-called timeout. We're going to take a quick break right here. 
Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Back to action in Madison Southern where the Lady Eagles have a nine-point lead over Somerset. Today's game is brought to you in part by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Madison County EMA.net, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Service, and Linville Insurance. We thank our sponsors, and they're what keep us going. Throw in for the Eagles right here. That was Parms out to Hayes, and it rolled around on the ground, and there's going to be a walk against Somerset. Out to Scott, Hayes gets it on the perimeter. Out to Lanham. And it's gonna be out of bounds against Somerset. A lot of traveling calls tonight. Whether it's a travel or a walk, there's been a lot of them and fouls can make or break a game or mistakes for that matter. Here comes the throw in with Freeman. The three for Parms, just misses. And she's right back on defense. Really good mindset right there. Out to number 10. She's wide open. For three, she has it. So here's the throw in to Hayes. Action picking up here. 45-39 game. Eagles still lead. Parms has the ball. It's inside to Lanham. And it's going to be a jump ball. And it's going to be Somerset. Intensity really picking up right here in the fourth quarter. Kind of like the first quarter is really tightly contested. Eagles don't want to make too many mistakes right here because Somerset's coming really hard right now. They definitely don't want to give up a win right here. Inside, Lano blocked her. No foul called. It was all, they said it was all ball. But it's going to be Somerset ball, of course, so a really great play by her. 441 left. Ball on the perimeter. And the shot is up, and she misses, and the Eagles are going to let it go out of bounds. Rachel Ramey is going to be on the throw in right here. And Somerset's bringing the defense back and it's going to be out on it's going to be out on the Eagles. They're going to give the ball to Somerset. Not what the Eagles wanted to see right there and coaches beside herself. Super frustrated out there on the sideline. Tight defense by the Eagles right here. She gets inside and she misses it. Parms with the ball. She has Freeman going up court. She's going to try and take it herself out to Freeman. Hayes around the perimeter, and they're going to stop right there, and they're going to look to try and get the tempo back in their control. Hayes drives inside. Just misses off the front of the rim. Lanham with it. She's got it. And all of the players that went down right there get back up. I believe that was Hayes and number 13 for Somerset. Somerset takes it up. That's number 25. She misses she put it up too hard on the glass. Eagles ball, and you're going to wave off the bucket. Foul's going to be on number 10. That's going to be the sixth foul for Somerset, and it's going to be a throw in for the Eagles. Forty-seven thirty-nine game, three forty-six left in the fourth quarter. It's number eleven coming on to the court for Somerset. 
And Freeman looks back to Parms, and she's going to get it. It's back on the other side of the court. She gets back over. Freeman has it, looking for Hayes. Doesn't know where to go with it. And a whistle is blown right there. Call is on number 11 for Somerset, so it's going to stay right here with the Eagles. So that's the seventh foul for Somerset, and it's going to be two for Hayes. The first shot is going up, and it is good. So she's going to get the second shot. They can open up a 10-point lead right here, and they do. It's back to double digits. Somerset looking to get quick back up the court. 25 has it. The ball went in, and the bucket's not going to count. And the call was on number 22, Kristen Hayes. Back to Somerset. 22 has it. She's going to try and get that easy mid-range shot, and it bounces out. Oh! And Somerset fans are going crazy. Lanham knocked down a player. Kristen Hayes looking inside, and the whistle blows. And it's going to be a double dribble. Somerset ball once again. It's still a 10-point game. Three minutes, 10 seconds left. Somerset drives in. That's number 13, and she gets it off the backboard. 49-41, three minutes left. Parms has the ball. She brings it up the court. Out to Freeman. She gives it back to Hayes. Somerset's going to get it. They got the steal. The ball's rolling on the ground. And it's going to be a jump ball. And a possession arrow is going to go in favor of the Eagles. That's really what they wanted right there. 244 left with an eight-point lead. They want to try and get it back to double digits if they can right here. Hayes has it. And she's going to be stripped by a Somerset player right there. Back to the Eagles. Waiting on to throw in right here. Here's the throw in, and it's going to go back to Somerset. She's going to take it up court. She gets it out to number 11, out to 13. The ball is up, and they're going to call a travel. Back to the Eagles. Ramey throws it in to Parms right there. Brianna Lanham has it. And Parms is going to take it around the perimeter. She has Hayes open, maybe. She's going to get it out to number 32. That's Freeman. Hayes slips up, and so did Freeman. And she's battling hard right there. Gets it out to Parms. Really tight defense by Somerset. Out on the perimeter to number 22. That's Hayes. She takes the mid-range shot and misses. Rebound by Lanham. Misses that one. Jump ball, and she goes down hard. There's a reason why Lanham has been playing since seventh grade here for the Eagles. Really tough player, and she knows the game very well, and she was able to get right back up right there, and she's ready to fight on defense. Somerset takes it up the court. Off the glass, way too hard. That's going to be a foul, possibly. And the foul's going to be on number 13. I believe that's on Somerset. And the Eagles are going to get to go to the line. Lanham looks a little bit shaken up still. But she's going to take, uh, she's going to take a few free throws here. Eight fouls for Somerset. The Lady Eagles only have five.
First one's up. It's good. Second one is up and it rims out. So Somerset's gonna take it up the court right here. And she's gonna try and draw the foul. And it's gonna go in favor of the Eagles right there. <clears throat> 50 to 41 game, a minute 46 left in the game. And before we can get back going, they have to find the ball. And I believe it went into one of the locker rooms. So that's gonna give these guys a little time to get everything sorted out. And Somerset's gonna bring the heat. So like we said, nine point game, Ramey on the throw in. She looks, she asks Freeman and it's gonna go out of bounds. Somerset ball. Miscommunication by the Eagles right there. They have a little padding, so you can kind of give up a mistake like that. Don't want to give up too many, though. There's the throw in, and it's in for Somerset. Seven-point game. The clock is still ticking. Somerset has it back. And it's in, and she gets the and one. Just like that, it's a five-point game. A minute 34 left. That's number 25, she's gonna to come to the line. She can make it a four point game right here. That Somerset defense has worn down the Eagles on the throw ins. The shot is up and it's good. Rachel's gonna throw it in. She's looking for somebody. She looks up court to Freeman. Freeman's all by herself. And it's gonna be Somerset ball. They're gonna have a chance. A minute 32 left, they let it roll on the ground and I believe it hit off her. Somerset ball, number 22, takes it up the court. Two on three. She battles through, she has it. It's a two point game. A minute 24 left. And just like that, Somerset is right back into this one. When we come back, we give you the last minute of the game. Today's game is brought to you in part by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Madison County, EMA.net, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Luxury Pet Service, and Linville Insurance. Don't change the channel, folks. We got a game on our hands. We'll be right back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to action at Madison Southern. We have a game on our hands. A minute 24 left in the game. Somerset has marched right back into this one. It's a 50 to 48 game. They were down by nine and the Eagles made a few mistakes. And just like that, Somerset could win this one. The throw in to Lanham. Rachel has the ball. The double team. And Somerset was trying to draw a foul right there. Kristen Hayes drives in, gets the bucket. Four point game, Somerset looks to try and get back. 21 with it, she takes the shot. It misses off the front of the rim and it's gonna be a rebound by Freeman. Rachel Ramey with the ball, she passes it out to Hayes. She's gonna take it up the court. Do they try and draw the foul? Nope, she misses it. Lanham in the paint, she gets the foul and one. And just like that, the Eagles take it right back. 54 to 48. Lanham is at the line for one. The shot is up. 
And it misses off the back. Somerset has it. They're going to try and get it back quickly. They want to try and win this game. Can't settle for the shot inside, but they go ahead. She misses. Parms gets the rebound. I'm really surprised right here that Somerset hasn't tried to foul. But, oh, and there goes Hayes down to the ground. She gets back up, and it's going to be a foul for Somerset. She's going to get to take two. It's going to be the 10th foul for Somerset tonight in the second quarter, rather. Well, pardon me, that's the second half. That one is up, and it is good. 22 seconds left, 55-48 game. We said this uh, fourth quarter would be really exciting, and it has been nothing short of that. 56-48. 20 seconds left. Can Somerset do something right here? 25 drives in, and she's going to draw a foul. 17 seconds left. It's an eight-point game. She's at the line for two. That one is up, and it is in. It'll be very interesting to see what they do to the Eagles right here. Do they force them to make a mistake, or do they try to foul? And there's going to be a lane violation on the Eagles. So she's going to get to retake the free throw. This is to make it a six-point game. They've brought a lot of pressure on the throw-ins. And it misses. Lanham with the rebound, and she knocks a player down. And that foul is going to be on Somerset. So it's going to be Lanham taking the free throws, and Southern has this one in the bag, it seems. She takes the first one, it's up, and it is good. And she's going to miss the second one. Somerset takes the ball up court, 10 seconds left. She's going to try and go for three, it misses. Madison Southern has the ball. They're going to try and foul, but it's not going to be good enough. Somerset runs out of time, and the Lady Eagles win 57-49. to And it was a fantastic game by the Eagles. And now we present to you our Jack Burford, Chevrolet player of the game. And today's honors goes to Brianna Lanham. She played a really tough game. She took some hits, and in the end, she gets her 500th rebound for the Eagles. What a game by her and the rest of the Eagles. And... Another win for the Eagles. That'll be two straight for them. We thank you for tuning in to Madison County School Sports Television. I'm Joey Chapman signing off. So long, folks, until we meet again. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. 
Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Hello everybody, I'm David Sullivan for Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook MCS TV and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube